Meet a real time team fan. This is Francis Davis, who lives up here at Skipsey in Blowy East Yorkshire. And to put it mildly, you're fairly interested in what was going on in this field, aren't you? Absolutely. Why it looks like all your other fields? Except they ploughed deeper one year and we turned up all these finds. Which are really fantastic. We've got everything from this prehistoric arrowhead right through to... Uh, Medieval. The luckier members of the team are starting work in the incident room. Francis, what we're going to try and do for you to help you understand what's going on in the field is get all the finds you've had into a timeline so we can see exactly when there's lots of activity going on and when it dies away. But I think, Phil, you've just about gone on top of the prehistoric. Yeah, I mean, this is this is lovely little a little collection of flint. This all came out of the same field. Within sort of 50 metres either way. It is Straight away, Phil can tell Francis that all her flint finds date to the early Neolithic period, around 4000 BC. What you've actually got is evidence of the, the first farmers that were actually living in Britain. But you need an expert eye to appreciate some of them. The other thing that is immediately nice is this lovely little leaf arrowhead. Phil's able to date this to the Neolithic because the shape of flint arrows changed over time. Earlier in the Mesolithic, they were smaller and looked like this, while later in the Bronze Age, they developed a barb and tang. But Phil saved the best till last. Oh, this is a real classic. What we've got is this lovely polished axe. But you see, it's actually snapped across there. And what this tells me is that it was actually in the half like that. When the blow, uh, probably a, a very unfortunate blow, hit the tree, there is so much flexion in the handle and the axe that it, that it just literally snapped the axe right off. And in so doing, it took this whacking great chunk out of the side of the axe. And I'll tell you what, if you can put as many hours into making one of those as I have, if you do that, the air turns blue. This Neolithic axe, ground smooth to give it a superior cutting edge, was as good as the technology got in the Stone Age. But Phil thinks Francis would have found a lot more flint in this field if people were actually living here 4,000 years ago. He reckons her flint finds could have been left by a hunting party just passing through. So nice to find, but nothing to do with what's showing in the geophysics. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan-funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.